Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the House Martin. There are fewer more welcome signs that summer is on its way than the arrival of swallows, swifts and house martins. They can sometimes be confused with each other, so here is a side-by-side -side comparison, including the sand martin which also visits the UK. House martins have a wingspan of 26 to 29 centimeters and short forked tails. Their heads, backs and wings appear black from a distance, although they shimmer with blue in the right light. Their undersides are creamy white and they also have a white rump. House martins are agile flyers and catch their food on the wing, which consists entirely of flying insects and aphids. When they return to the UK, which can be from April onwards, they quickly get to work with breeding. Although they are monogamous, in that the same male and female will usually raise chicks together for multiple attempts, they are not very faithful, and one study found that more than three quarters of nests contain chicks from more than one male. Traditionally, house martins would have nested on cliffs, but as their name alludes, these days they mostly nest on man-made structures, particularly under the eaves of houses. Their nests are constructed out of up to a thousand small balls of clay, which the parents diligently place to make an almost completely closed cup. Sometimes they use the same nest in successive years, and they will also use man-made nests if they are available. Once the nest is complete, it is lined with a thin layer of vegetation and feathers before four or five eggs are laid. These are completely white and measure just under two centimeters long. Both sexes incubate them for around 14 days and once they hatch, both parents bring a ready supply of food to the nest. The chicks take around three weeks to fledge, although once they leave the nest, they may return for several days whilst their parents carry on feeding them. Gradually, they'll become more independent and at around five weeks old, they'll be completely self-sufficient. Typically, house martins will nest two times in a summer, with more established pairs sometimes raising a third brood. After breeding is complete, they start to gather in larger flocks before setting off southwards for the winter. They begin to leave from August, although some birds remain well into October if the weather isn't too harsh. Many times when I speak about bird numbers declining, I do so based on research and haven't noticed the decline so much myself. But with house martins, even in my 32 years of life, I have noticed a significant drop in their numbers. Since 1995, they have declined by more than 37%, with around 480,000 pairs remaining. It's likely that at least some of this decline has been caused by the drastic drop in flying insects, prompted by changes in the way that the countryside is managed. House martins live an average of two years, but the oldest known bird survived for seven years, one month and 12 days. Here is one of the house martins calls. And that's all for today, but if you did enjoy this video and you want to discover more British birds, then check out this one about swallows. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.